Hi, I'm Larry Troca, and today I'm going to do a few tips on schooling your cutting horse on the mechanical cow. Um, just to kind of set it all up, uh, we're working the cow track Ultima um, with a remote control, and um, it has, this is the full featured model. It has the uh, uh, the memory, and it also has the bump feature, which I really like, where I can control the speed from the, the, the hand unit here. The horse that I'm going to work here is, um, you know, he's pretty far along. He's not a finished horse, but he's, he's pretty close. I've shown him a few times, but he needs a little work. He hasn't worked a, a cow in a long time, so he's going to make plenty of mistakes here, and I can show you how to correct them. At this stage, uh, the main things that we want to focus on is we want the horse uh, synchronizing with the flag or the mechanical cow. We want him stopping straight. We want him to draw back uh, uh, right before the turn and then make that turn clean in synchronization with the cow. But there's a lot of things that can go wrong during that process. And I'll kind of show you. Uh, you know, how to fix some of the mistakes, some of the problems that we, that we run into. So anyway, I'll get started. This horse, uh, he's pretty fresh. I haven't loped him down or anything. We've just kind of warmed him up. So I'm going to start by putting the flag in the middle of the arena. Now, before I work the horse on the flag, I'm going to take and get him thinking about it Back him up, bring his nose in, release, press with my right leg, take him through the turn, stop him, back him up. I want him to give his head, he should give his head to the side and bring his nose down, he should give to my hands. Use my left leg to push him through the turn, trot him up, leg pressure, release my legs and he stops. We just want to do this enough to get him thinking. Now I'm just going to kind of bring that nose in there. Because when he works the flag, I want him to stop straight, but I want him to make that turn nose first. I don't want him coming shoulder first. All right, so I'm going to walk him up to the flag. Now, when I quit driving him with my feet, he should stop. If he doesn't, I'm going to stop him and back him up. Okay. So I'm going to drive him up there again. I keep leg pressure on him. I relax my legs and he should stop like he did. Now I'm about close enough. I, this horse is a little afraid of cattle and a little afraid of the flag. So I kind of stay a little farther away from it. Some horses you can get up there pretty close. Other horses you need to stay back. Okay, so I'm gonna start kind of slow. Use my left leg to push him. And you notice I'm gonna stop a little short of the flag. Came through that turn nose first. Now he went a little too far past the flag. I'm gonna back him up. I'm gonna bring his nose in there. So I come straight up with my left rein to bring his nose in, look at the cow. Accelerate. Good. So if he wants to put his head down, that's fine. I like it when he looks in there. Now, if he starts a little too late, I'm going to bump him with my herd side foot, and that'll kind of help him get started. When I double click this, this hand control, it kicks the flag up into high gear, which makes the flag go faster. And then I can click it again to drop it back down to low gear. Start it slow, ride him with both feet. Now he's turning a little too soon. I stop him, back him up, stop him, put him back where he was. And now watch what I do. I make the flag go and I back him up, release, turn, and go catch it. Quit riding and he stops. Flag goes the other way, I back him up, release, 
let him go catch it. Back him up. Now this direction, he's kind of coming shoulder first. So I'm going to kind of bring that nose in. And the shoulders are dropping that way. So I'm going to take the shoulders away. Now back him up. Good. That time he came through nose first. When I'm using one hand, I can, I can reach down this left rein a little shorter, bring that nose into the cow. Okay. Now, we're going to kind of speed him up here a little bit. Again, he kind of come, came shoulder first, back him up, take him across, bring him in there. I'm going to take his shoulders away, back him up some more, start the cow, good. Bring the nose in, good. He went just a little bit too far, back him up, take him across, back him up. The other thing I want to do is I want him to hold his line. If he starts fading off too much, I'm going to use some herd side leg to hold him up to the cow. I use my reins to reinforce it too. Squeeze with my feet. When I quit squeezing, when I release my legs, he should stop. Went a little bit too soon. I want him to start that turn just a little bit late. I want him to hold the ground and draw a little bit more. So I'll back him up. Cow goes slow, release him. Good. Perfect. A little bit too late, send him. Now right there, because I backed him up, I actually made him a little bit too late. So if they're a little bit too late, halfway through that turn, send him through that turn with your leg. So this side, I'm going to back him up. I'm going to bump that right rein so it's a little shorter, bring that nose in. Now, he's kind of jumping out right there, take him across. I want him to come through clean. I don't want him jumping out at the flag. There, that time he stayed back on his hocks. Now, we're a little bit too far away from the cow to drive to the cow. When I quit pressing him with my feet, he should stop, and he did. Good, that time he stayed back on his hocks. Kind of jumped out at the cow that time. So catch him right here, halfway through that turn, bump him back. Now his hips into the cow a little too far. Move that hip out a little bit. You know, we don't want him kicking their butt out away from the cow, but we don't want the hip in so far that he can't get it turned around it either. Ride, release my legs and he stops. Left too soon, bring him across the cow, back him up, bring the nose in, good. Again, his hips in there a little bit too far, move it out away from the cow. I just want that body kind of straight and parallel with the cow. I don't want the shoulders in there too far or out too far. Same with the hips. I don't want the hips in too far or out too far. I want him parallel with the cow. Send him a little bit with my right foot. Good. As soon as I, I send him with my feet, as soon as I release my legs, he stopped. Good. That's better. But he didn't stay straight. He stopped and turned up to the cow. I don't want that. I want him stopping straight and staying straight. So I'm going to take those shoulders away. Again, back him up. Take the shoulders away. Good. That time he stayed straight. It's fading off too much to my right. So halfway through this turn, I'm going to drive him to the cow so he doesn't fade off too much. Use my right foot, press him up to the cow, 
Release. Went too far, back him up. Back him up. Perfect. Back him up. All I'm doing right there is having him draw, teaching him to draw before he turns. And by draw, I mean cock back on his butt. Good. Still kind of came out at the cow a little bit too much. So watch this, halfway through the turn, I'm gonna catch him, put him back on his hocks. Halfway, catch him, bump him back on his hocks. Good. Now, one important thing that uh, you've gotta pay attention to is that, you know, like I say, we want our horse to stop straight and parallel with the cow. And if your horse isn't, uh, you need to analyze why he isn't. There's several things that will make a horse stop crooked or stop sideways. Just like right here, if that cow stopped and my horse stopped kind of sideways like this, kind of faced up at the cow, I need to analyze why he's stopping crooked like that. Again, if we, the cow stopped and he ended up like this, I'd want to analyze why we didn't stop straight. So here's some tips. If you're leading the cow too much, instead of being a little bit short, you know, we want to, we want to kind of work the flag with our horse's head, kind of in the middle of the flag or the tail end of the flag, that will help one to stop straight, okay? If they're still stopping crooked, you need to, to analyze, is his front end going to the cow? Like say, say right here is ideal. Is he stopping with his front end going to the cow? Is that why he's stopping crooked? If it is, you need to fix the offending body part. You know, move the front end away. Okay. And then you can back him up and go catch it. If he, but here again, if he, if he ends up stopping crooked, you need to analyze it. If, if it's, is, he, is he stopping crooked because he's kicking his butt out of gear? You know, if he is, you need to move his butt back in there and then back him up. Okay. So, so you need to have control over the body parts of your horse so you can get him working correctly. You know, like, again, if he's stopping and kicking his butt out of gear, then I would want to stop him, move his butt back in, back him up a little bit. Good. And you can see right here, you know, boy, I mean, he's pretty darn straight, and that's the way I want him to be. If there's any deviation there, I'm gonna analyze what body part is getting out of whack. You know, is his front end going too far to the cow, too far away? Is the rear end going too far away, too far into the cow? If anything, on this side, his rear end is toward the cow a little bit too much. So I might move the rear end out a step and back him up and then go. Move his rear end out a little bit as I hold his front end up. And now I kind of fix that while we're traveling with the cow. He's pretty good on this side. He's pretty straight, just about the way I'd want him. On this side, his butt's into the cow too much. So as I travel, I might move his butt out and hold his front end up to the cow to have him you know, we're kind of overdo it a little bit, so have his butt away from the cow a little bit more than we normally would. And that which should balance things out. And we'll check his, 
That's pretty good right there, pretty straight. Okay, well, I hope you like that tip. Um, again, we're using the Cowtrack Ultima. Uh, in my opinion, it's the best cow that there is. It has all the features that, that I want. And I've had this one for years and never had any problems with it. Um, uh, you know, I'll put a link at the end of the video uh, to Cowtrack um, so that you can check them out. And I'll also put a link to my website if you want more horse training tips like this, you can go to my website and um, just go to the, tree, the, the free training videos and you can sign up and get all the free, free uh, videos and the free training tips and stuff. All right, that's good enough for today. Take care.